Welcome back to another video. My name's Thomas Gelder. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you want. Well, to something dream. is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Well, that was pretty great. So in today's video, I'm going to break down an effect that is in ASAP Ferg's video, Floor Seats. Now this music video is epic, like it's so cool. And the part that I'm going to teach you is this little section here. Now before the transition happens, the shot is moving backwards, so it insinuates it's moving back out into his mouth. Looking at the video, it looks like it's a short clip of the guy opening his mouth and closing it. I'm going to try use a photo today to see if I can do the same effect. I think video would work better, but I'm going to do it with a photo today just to show you that example. So let's get straight into the editing suite and see how it's done. So once you're in the editing suite, you will have your picture and your footage. So as you can see, it's not a full photo, but it's just to show you how to do the edit. So this is my clip, my video clip that I'm going to be zooming out of. I'm just going to make sure it's zoomed in and then I'm just going to scale it so it looks like it's zooming out when it and I'm going to bring it a bit further down like that. The reason being is because by the time it gets to this part, you won't be able to see the black bars because you will see his mouth. So let's just see how that looks now. See if it's fast enough. And I think it needs to be a bit faster than that. Because if you look back on the video, it's very fast transition. So I want it to be the exact same. I want it to be fast. Crop the bits that I want. Let's make it a little faster. Now that you've got your clip and you trim the part that you actually want, it to be at what you're going to do is bring the video clip down under his mouth bring the mouth clip video or photo whichever you choose to use bring the opacity down now this allows you to see where the video is in the background what you're going to do is mask out the teeth in the mouth So once you've got the mask sorted, you're going to invert it. Now this is going to show you the clip underneath. So if we just click away from the actual mask, you can see that the clip is underneath. I'm going to just tweak my mask and get rid of these black bits because they're not needed. I just want to see the teeth. So now that I've just tweaked it, as you can see, it looks 10 times better. What you're going to do once you've got your mask sorted, you're going to feather it. Not too much, just a little tad, maybe to 15 to 20, just so it smoothens it out. Either bring the mask expansion up or down. I think for me, I'm just going to bring it down a tad just by like minus three. And what I'm going to do from now is watch it back and see how it plays. Right, so from this point, as it's about to stop, I want the mouth to zoom in. So I'm going to click on scale and position make sure you key them in go back by five frames and zoom it in on the mouth and then bring make sure you can't see the mouth once you've done this now this is just going to create the transition and the animation of the mouth coming back into the shot now if i play that through let me see how it looks as you can see it's basically there the edits there as the mouth comes in that's when I want the zooming out to finish. So if I bring that down, that's where I want it to end. I also think the mouth transition's a bit too quick. So for me, I just want to bring it out by two more frames. And also make sure the scale is on 110. Just so I can't see the side or pass it a bit here. Ideally, you want it to be a video clip just cause it's easier to do with. Um, but let's just see how it looks now. As you can see, that's basically the form of the edit. There is ways of making it look more smooth and more clean, but that's self-explanatory. For me, it's just to show you a prime example and then for you guys to take it away and make it your own. And that's it for today's video. I'm back, I'm back home. I've been traveling for the past two and a half months. We had to create short because of COVID. So now that I'm back, I'm just gonna keep bashing out these YouTube videos for you guys, learning new things and just teaching you guys new things as well. That being said, make sure you subscribe, like and comment if you enjoyed. If not, then I'm sorry to not satisfy your needs. Hopefully the next video will do that. I'll see you guys 
next time. Tip number one, if you are subscribed to Adobe software on the subscription